Yeah, so I mean, PVI is a group four parochial school. Uh, they do have good numbers. Uh, when I look at them on film, their sidelines full, uh, a lot bigger than ours. But I do think that we have a chance. Like I said, every week I think we have a chance uh, with our skill kids. We will, they, they have good quarterback play. Uh, number four for them is a wide receiver, linebacker. He might be the best, one of the best kids we face all year. Uh, as just a football player, that kid wants to get hit, he wants to hit people, uh, and he's going to bring it every single play. So I think from our perspective, we need all 11 of our kids to bring it every single play, because if we don't, then that kid alone is going to hurt us, and we can't let one kid uh, dominate the game and beat us. The Lancers come out hitting hard. Led by Jalen Peake, the Holy Cross defense bends but doesn't break on a long drive by Paul VI. On offense, things don't go as planned. A fake punt on fourth down gives the Eagles good field position. Slicing and dicing on the ground, Paul the Six are the first ones on the board. Back on the field, the Lancer defense seemed to get better as they went on. As Paul the Six dominated the time of possession, Big plays by the Lancer defense keep them in the game.
high school football, it's not always about what plays you call as a coach, but what players you called on. And after a few mediocre drives, the Eagles put their star behind center. But with a little rust throwing the ball, it almost leads to another turnover. The Eagles quit playing it cute as they run the ball down Holy Cross's throat. to winning a game is to play to your advantages. But Holy Cross lacks in size, they more than make up for in quickness and athleticism. Playing to these at the end of the half, Coach TJ Madeira and the Lancers pull off an improbable play. This gives the Lancers the lead at the half. Transitioning to the second half, Holy Cross has to keep the same energy. Donovan Fay takes the second half touchdown to the house as Holy Cross goes ahead by a touchdown. Needing to respond, Paul the Six uses their thunder and lightning attack on the ground to march down the field, but Holy Cross is able to bring up a fourth down. The Lancers steal a possession from the Eagles. That's the end of the fun. Stalling on their remaining offensive drive. Six dominated the final quarter, piling on yards and points as they ran away with the game. Uh, being tough, not just physically, I think we got some pretty strong guys, but it's also mental. Uh, like 
you saw the film number four is a big guy. He's a big kid. Um, probably have a lot of uh, good things coming his way. But you can't be afraid of things that are bigger than you, right? You can't, like, not want to go tackle him. You can't, you have to have that toughness about you that it doesn't matter how big, how strong this person is, I'm going to give everything I have, not just for me, but for my teammates. I'm going to do my job, and we're going to bring this man down. We're going to bring this guy down, and we're going to win this game. He finished with 225 rushing yards and four touchdowns. He truly was the difference in the game. Final thoughts on the Paul the Six game. Uh, I think the kids came out. They played extremely hard. Uh, I thought they fought every single play. Uh, and I thought they actually executed well. Uh, we just kind of got banged up there at the end. Uh, I think the final score wasn't indicative of the actual game. Uh, but I did think they executed on offense and special teams. Uh, we converted that hook and ladder for a touchdown right before half. Uh, we faked an extra point to take the lead. Uh, and defensively, they flew around and they held up for as long as they could. Uh, I actually thought it was funny. PVI had to actually change up their entire game plan and put number four in at quarterback and kind of run the ball uh, with him. At the end of the game, their coaches kind of came up to me uh, and they did say they thought, you know, I think they thought it was going to be a little easier than it was when they came in here. Uh, and I think they were a little nervous there uh, at the end. Um, but overall, I was very happy with the way our kids competed uh, throughout the whole game.